In the scriptures, one thing again and again is reminded a person whoever has come has to go. Whoever came on this earth has to leave, has to go. But how to live first? The more emphasis is given on that, that how to live on this earth, that before you leave, because of any reasons, that you can leave in peace. Before I go to that, I want to share with you the, pe the question you have asked for those people who are suffering with cancer or many other diseases. Number one, doctors are taking care of them medically. Number two, their willpower. I have seen people not only here in India and many countries because they travel a lot. They come with these questions, they come with these problems. One thing I have shared with them, one, the prayer, which can heal them. Medicines are doing their own work. They don't have to stop. Second thing is the prayers. The power of prayers is so powerful. And now the, in the universities, they have a lot of research that how prayer and faith can heal them, can keep them together in those moments when they need their strength. Faith and the prayer and second is the willpower. And willpower also is increased by the prayer and the faith. And that is the best medicine for them. Second, is meditation. Meditation can really help them and can heal them and can help them. The last which I have seen in my life when I met them given that that hope yes even we have to leave, but there is a future. There is a, another life. There is another life. It's waiting for them that they can prepare for that life before they leave. And that can happen. And whatever the last prayer, whatever the last will, will be, they can become. And they can become free, in, not in this life from this cancer, because of cancer has its own time. Doctor gives you own time. But they can be free mentally. They can be free emotionally. That can happen. Physically, maybe they have to suffer, they have to go through it. But mentally, they can be free. And when the mentally you are strong, physically the pain also becomes bearable. All that can happen. And what I have learned in my young age, and I teach the same thing to everyone. Get connected to the, that divine center. Take your energy from that and you will be healed. For that is the best medicine. For the family members, I can understand. Family members especially. The person is one who is going through that pain, but the whole family also is going through the pain. In those moments, if you also become together, you also become strong, and you have a prayer of moment of prayers and meditation together, that even can have a, a collective impact on the patient and in your life also. 
that should be done. This is my advice.